Elijah Hyman faces dozens of attempted murder charges after officers say he told them he was having thoughts of shooting people leaving the event at FedEx Forum. His attorneys say he was having a mental health crisis. Our WREG's Shea Arthur is live downtown tonight after speaking with mental health experts and this was a tragedy that was avoided thankfully Shay. Yeah, Stephanie, most definitely. Now, thankfully, no shots were ever fired, but mental health advocates say this is a reminder to stay alert to possible warning signs. Elijah Hyman appears in Shelby County Court today. The 28-year-old will remain in jail as he's set to receive a mental evaluation in the coming weeks. This coming after MPD investigators say they found several large caliber weapons in his downtown apartment, including a rifle with a scope and attached suppressor. By a broken out window, officers noticed binoculars, giving him a direct line of sight to FedEx Forum, surrounding parking lots and sidewalks. Investigators saying he told them that he wanted to, quote, shoot as many people as he could, just like on TV. Hyman telling officers he was upset following a recent breakup with his girlfriend. Mr. Hyman uh, reached out for help. 911 actually flagged down an officer for help. He was in crisis. His attorney, Leslie Ballin, noting the concert at FedEx Forum had been over for hours before Hyman's call came in. WREG asking Ballin if he was aware of the MPD crisis intervention team had responded. There were a couple of 911 calls and we're going to have to get to the timing of it. Uh, crying out for help uh, made by him with my information and also uh, by an employee of the apartments where he was living. Um, I, don't, I don't think that uh, was answered timely. Will Voss is chief operating officers with Tennessee Voices, providing mental health support and advocacy to people in need. He's grateful Hyman was in a place where he could reach first responders for help. For others that may find themselves in a dark place, how can we be helpful? Communication is key. What we tell people, one of the biggest things is how are we talking about mental health? We have many programs and all of, all of what we do, we're focusing around making sure people understand that being mentally well is just as important as being physically well. So important. And Stephanie, we did reach out to MPD to see if CIT officers did respond to that situation. Right now, we are waiting to hear back from mental health resources. Of course, you can go to our website. Just click on this story. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.